I love, I love reading books where the where the characters travel. Like Gorky Parkins is in Moscow, uh, the Bat is in Australia. And so I really like that about your books about being able to travel while I follow the mystery. And how does that do you, like, and I also found that like Sharon and I went to Havana and it just blew my mind and I just started writing. I wrote, I don't know, twelve thousand words or some crazy thing just while I was there because because it something happened and I start thinking. So is that how do you find that? Because you it didn't the bat start in Australia? Uh, yes. Um, the whole series of my, my my career as a writer started in uh, in Australia. It was uh, we just uh, talked about it before we went on that normally it, it takes a writer some some years from um, you know when he first starts writing uh, a novel um, or attempting to write a novel until it's or she is published. Uh, in my case, it was uh, it was a bit crazy because I, I started writing my first novel in January and I was published in August. Uh, so I, I, I actually wrote my first novel in five weeks. I never told my, my publisher. Uh, when they asked me, I said, uh, when they asked me how long did that take me, I said, a year and a half. <laughs> And uh, but it, but it started but but it didn't start as me you know thinking that okay um, would be nice to 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 have the main character traveling uh, to you know you sort of see yourself in a new light when you uh, when you travel uh, you're alone so you're exposed in a different way. Um, that is probably what I said to my publishing house, but um, the truth is I, I was going to Australia anyway. Uh, <laughs> and I had a uh, five weeks break from uh, my job as a stockbroker and uh, six months off as uh, my job as a singer for my band. And um, so I was, uh, I went to Australia, I'd never been there before, and I brought a laptop, and at the time I'd been asked by a girl who worked for a publishing house, and she had read my lyrics, and she uh, had this idea for a novel, like, or a book that I should write about a band uh, on the road. But I said I didn't want to write that, but um, for me it was an excuse to write my first novel. Um, so, uh, it was a, uh, you know, uh, for me it was just, I'm going to Australia, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to write something, it's not going to get published, so it could be anything, uh, I have to finish it in five weeks, I have to write some, something simple, because I've seen all my friends who wanted to be writers, you know, trying to write a big European novel at the first attempt, when we were like 19, and we would buy these long coats on a Salvation Army outlet and uh, suck in our cheeks so we would look hungry and discuss just the have skin home soon. <laughs> That's what we did, and everybody was talking about the novel they were writing, and um, all my friends were, you know, having writer's block at the age of 19. <laughs> And um, so they never finished the novels, so I thought, okay, uh, lesson learned is that you have to write something simple. So I thought, okay, uh, I'll write a mystery novel, a detective novel, that simple. I know the, the head and the tail of a story like that. And um, that's how it all started. You know, it was just me wanting to write something. And uh, it was, uh, I don't know how it was with you when you first started writing your, your first novel, if you, if, if you had that feeling that it was like something you had been waiting to do for a long, long time, and you just realized that this is something I'm going to do for a long, long time, no matter whether I get published or not, it uh, just feels right. And, and that was how it was for me when I arrived in Sydney. I mean, I, I'd been writing short stories. I'd worked a little as a freelance journalist. Like I said, I'd been writing lyrics. But when I started writing that novel, it was, it was just such a kick. So I would, I would write around 40 hours a day. I don't do that. I can't do that any longer, of course. But 
just I, I I wasn't able to do anything else than than write. So I was the plan was to of course to to travel around Australia, which I did for for a little while, but. Uh, most of the time, I stayed in this small, cheap hotel room in uh, in, uh, in the uh, uh, red light district in, uh, in in Sydney. And when I got hungry, I would literally run to the nearest restaurant, ask the waiter what was the quickest meal he could fix for me, and I would eat, and then literally run back to my hotel room and keep on writing. 